Welcome to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to play a game that I'm very, very excited to show up. It's called Ra Radio General 2. And it's just, it's exactly what you think. It's essentially you're playing a general, but you're only contacting your units through radio. You can't see them. So it's really like you don't know where they are exactly. You don't know the stats. You're not sort of in combat. You're just kind of yelling at, well, telling them what to do. And it's just, it's a really, really unique game very interesting and it's just in the right alley of our games on this channel because we play a lot of war games, play a lot of turn-based combat games. It's not a turn-based game but it's just, it's, it's so, let me just show it up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No more talking. Okay, we're gonna create a new campaign. We're gonna be playing, we're gonna skip to the tutorial. The tutorial is cool but, um, you know, we're just gonna skip it. I just wanna show, I just wanna go straight into it. It's just, it's so good. I'm so excited. I might do a longer series on this one. September 3rd, 1939. Britain and France declare war on Nazi Germany after the invasion of Poland. Britain calls upon its vast commonwealth to aid them in the war. Canada answers the call, sending thousands of sailors, airmen and soldiers. You are a general in the Canadian army, having just arrived in Britain with fresh reinforcements. Ooh, I was too slow. I was too slow, it's first time in forever. Your job is to lead hundreds of men into battle and triumph over a determined enemy. All you have is a radio and a map. Your job will not be easy. This game uses historical documents and video to provide context and tell the stories of soldiers who fought in the conflict. If you wonder why I'm excited about being slow, it's because I'm always talking too fast. So this time, if I'm too slow, it's like, very good. I'm just so excited for this game, okay? And I say that a lot. On December 17th, 1939, the first Canadians landed in Britain, vanguard of a great army. They came to finish the job that their fathers had begun a quarter of a century before. In June 1940 came the first call to action. In high spirits, they marched to the ships on their way to France, itching for a fight. Once across the channel, the Canadians penetrated more than 200 miles. But with the tragic collapse of France came the order to return to Britain. In the dark days after Dunkirk, almost the only trained and equipped troops between Hitler and London were General McNaughton's Canadians, who stood guard throughout those days of high tension. While hurricanes swept the sky, Canadian ak ak batteries blazed at the Luftwaffe from the ground, playing their part in the Battle of Britain. And now the Canadians are preparing to rip through the Huns when the Allied War Council gives the signal for the cross-channel dash on the road to Berlin. The Canadians are ready. Is coming. All right, let's get this going. All right, so 1942 is the tutorial, so we're not going to go through that. We're going to go straight into 1943, Sicily. Battle of Pacino Airfield. All right. The Allies land in Sicily. The nearby airfield and towns must be taken, but friendly reinforcements are slow to arrive. Naval artillery support is used to beat off a large counterattack. Let's go. This is my tent. July 10th, 1943. Pacino, Sicily, Italy. All right. I'm going to read you a little bit. There's a lot more you can sort of read there. There's like a video here and then there's like text. I'm just going to go through the post office telegram. Then we're just going to go straight into it. Welcome to Pacino. Location Mediterranean Coast, Sicily. Features sunny and windy, many beaches, lots of fish, developed agriculture. The Canadians were greeted by a sunny expanse of beach at Pacino. With over 8 kilometers of beach, Pacino remains a popular tourist spot to the present day. It is known for its abundant fishing and agriculture, focusing on the production of tomatoes and wine. So as you see here, you can read kind of a bit more about other stuff here. Like look at the pictures, things like that. We're just going to go straight through it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Overview. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up which kind of units we want to have as the in initial unit and in the reinforcements and in the reserves. The invasion of Sicily has begun. The Canadians formed the left flank of a five British landing spread over 40 miles of shoreline. The landings are to take place near Pacino, close to the southern tip of the island. We must quickly push out from the beach and capture the village of Mausini, and then onto the nearby airfield and Pacino itself. Due to our surprise landing, initial enemy garrison units are likely under strength and should be no match for our infantry. Hope 
probably we can overrun the garrisons before the 122nd Italian Coastal Infantry Regiment can muster a counterattack. You will be receiving naval gun support later in the day to beat off any counterattacks. Due to delays, we have only landed one infantry company at the moment. Additional infantry reinforcements should arrive within the next few hours. Now, I will point out here that due to the nature of the game, I will have to talk over the soldiers a little bit. So there are subtitles on the bottom if you aren't catching what they're saying. All right. Our objective is to hold Pacino and hold Pacino airfield. And we need to pick our units. So we can hover over the units here. We can see their morale, speed, defense, how many starting troops we have and their personality. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these aggressive 48 Highlander infantry. That's gonna be our main unit because we're gonna be fighting a lot. Now, as for reinforcements, we could pick a popular, trigger happy, conservative or defensive. By the way, this sort of description here is a random. I had a different, the units are the same, but I had a different uh, description. Awesome, had it bold here with the Highlanders infantry. I think we'll go with the defensive, Loyal Edmonton infantry. They're pretty good at defense. Their damage is a bit lower. Oh, it's actually significantly lower. You guys. Yeah, we're going to go with the Royal Canadian Regiment Infantry or Conservative. They have good damage and defense is 15%. As opposed, these guys have 20% de defense, but damage is much lower, only 0 0.38. We don't want that. So we're going to go here in this infantry star. We can put the defensive guys in the reserves, but we're probably we're going to try to not use the reserves because we can do it. All right. All right. You can plan things up with your. Well, because that's just how it goes. All right. So this is very important. They're telling us right now where they are. So I'm using this little figure to point out the to sell the fox or eight uh, fox or eight. So they're here. Right, and we have placing them. Now you can see this pulsing thing. This means that we place the figure on the right spot. Now I can place this figure anywhere, and even when they're in, where the unit is not, we cannot actually see the unit. We can only place the figure, and we have to sort of keep asking them, like, "Hey, give me a report. Where are you? What's happening? What's going on?" You know, we just gotta keep going at them. Now we could here draw with pencils where stuff are. We don't really care. All right. So what we've got is we've got our units here, and we're gonna begin. We're gonna click proceed. You could, yeah, we're not gonna bother with this. All right, we're gonna tell them, "Hey." You move to Mautini location two. Count on us. Capture All right, if we can count on you, Mr. Abel, let's go. Let's get this party started. So we're gonna click play. And we're gonna begin. Waiting starting time. And it's gonna get started. I'm gonna send them there. And again, you don't actually know where they are. You just have a figurine that's like guessing where they are, and they're gonna be telling you. So they're moving. We're gonna say, hey, give me your status report. So they're at Golf 8, so they're here now. You saw there was like a blue square for like a moment. It's kind of telling you when you do the report, like, hey, we're there. In about an 30, uh, so in uh, one minute and 35 seconds, we're gonna get new reinforcements. You've captured mouse in the art, so they're here. Uh, we're gonna give them a report status. All right. Uh, we could dig in. I don't know if it's necessary, okay. All right, so we're gonna tag the enemy. We're gonna call them alligator, and we're gonna see where they're. I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, so the able are staying here in the town. They're being attacked by the alligator, so you can see this that we've got the enemy units. And again, we don't know their stats. We don't know how they're doing. The only thing is we can ask for report statuses. That's it. Everyone is still combat ready, we know where they are and they're gonna be shooting out. Now in about one minute we're gonna get uh, reinforcements, we're gonna send them immediately to, to go help Abel and we're gonna try to tell them to flank the enemy so that we can get a bonus. There are flanking bonuses here, there are, if you dig in you get entrenchment bonus, if you are in town you get bonuses, there are a lot of bonuses but you can't really see them because you're in the tent, I am not in the combat, okay? I gotta just like, I, I think it's just so good, like this is amazing. Let's do one more rep rep status report. Okay, in that case, we're gonna do enemy status report. So they're running, they're currently over there. We're gonna try to tell them to move at the enemy, ideally, and try to kind of keep fighting. All right, uh, I would like it if you could kind of fight them off. We're gonna get reinforcements very soon, and we're gonna try to go to the Pacino airfield, if we can. All right, we're here. Where is the enemy? 
heading northeast, so they're heading that way. All right, that's good. Now we've got ourselves our reinforcements, so we're gonna pause. And we're gonna tell Baker, hey, go to Pacino Airfield. And we're gonna tell uh, the guys in the Able as well. And we're gonna tell them to go the other way. So essentially, we're gonna try to flank it. And if we do it successfully, they should be fighting from each side and we'll get a flanking bonus that will kind of be supporting each other. We're going to watch out for this unit so it doesn't hit us from behind, but yeah. Status report, where are you? Alright, so we've got our able guys here. The bear enemy is... Kill five, yeah, they're here. Where are you? Where is Baker? Start four, so they're here. All right, so so this is perfect. They're assisting each other. They're fighting. Everybody's doing a good job. Uh, can I figure out where alligator is? Right, they're running. Where are they running to? All right, so first of all, we need to tell Baker, you go to the uh, Pacino airfield. We're going to tell Abel to go at Pacino location. Yeah, capture it for me. And we want to know where the enemies are. Enemies there. And where's Alligator? All right, good. So we're shooting this off. We could help with Baker, but I don't think it's necessary. I think uh, these guys should be fine. Oh, the fight isn't going. Okay, Baker, go help. Go help. Kind of hoping they'd be able to handle it by themselves, but apparently they're gonna need assistance. How are you doing? We're not flanking them this time. We could try to move with Abel a bit upwards. Stacking so combo, okay, yeah. Are they gone now? What's happening? Alright, we've got Pacino. So we're gonna move in there. And we're gonna tell Baker to move back. All right, now Ables are in, so we're gonna tell them to dig in so that they can get, so they can get better defense. All right, tell Baker to go back into the airfield. We'll tell them to dig in here as well. All right. Now this is important because uh, the next part of this, in in about four minutes, when we get this um, this uh, support, naval support, the enemy is going to attack us pretty hard. So in that case, we need to make sure that we. Right, they, should be, they should be able to handle it. Alright, uh, you keep digging yourself in. Go six heading south. Interesting. Alright, so they're going down. They might take Machini, but it's not uh, our, obje our objective to hold. Uh, Machini, our objective is going to hold Pacino and Pacino Airfleet, so we don't really care. If they want to do it, they can do it. The most important part here is to make sure that both of your units are digged in so that you get a really good defense. You already get a defense bonus from being in town, but it's not that good. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because um, hopefully nothing interesting is going to happen. Alright, so they have digged in. That's pretty good. So we're going to tell them to hold position. And we'll tell these guys, have you guys dug in yet? Right up. I guess they're gonna dig in now. Okay, good. 
Uh, and that, and does anybody know anything about alligator? And these guys? Yeah, we don't know. Okay, never mind. So just gonna speed it up again until something interesting happens. Right, so far nothing's happening. Pretty good for us. Just a quick report. Minor casualties, all right, you? Oh, this is alligator, not bear. Interesting, okay. Okay, how is the bear doing? So bear is somewhere here and alligator is hitting them. All right, that's, that's okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem yet. Perfection. In 37 seconds, we're going to get ourselves some naval artillery, which is going to really help us in this fight. Yep, nice. Picking where? Locals are claiming enemy troops have moved into Massini. Uh, yeah, so Bear is probably here. We're not gonna fight that off because, like I said, it's not the objective. We might use some naval bombardment on the people in Massini, but uh, we'll see. Probably gonna get some enemies from here. Right, in two seconds. Good. Got our naval artillery. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a sustained bombardment on the people here. Yeah, that's the plan. And as soon as some enemies are going to come at these guys, we're going to help them out there as well. Uh, are you digged in? Make sure everybody's always, you know, any main are arriving from north. Yeah, okay, we don't see anybody yet. Six. Alright, we're gonna probably tell these guys to cancel the barrage and we're gonna say sustain bombardment on the people on the bear unit. It should help us out in fighting them. Turn that position into hamburger, I like that. That's kind of funny. Now we could go and help with Able, the problem is if we did that, first of all, this would be left in the open and secondly, we would lose any bonuses from entrenchment, things like that, so we don't actually want that to happen. How are you doing? Uh, how are you doing? Sorry. We both at goal 5. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Are we still doing the bombardment? Alright, the bear is gone. Enemy infantry is pulling out. Which one? Fantastic, we got them all gone. And Cheetah is where? And these guys are still using their bombardment, so we're gonna keep that up. Oh, sorry, I, I misclicked that. Why don't you give me report status? Yeah, well, then cancel it. Start a new one on people in here. Baker, what's up? Baker, talk to me! <laughs> Wait, I've got the objectives. I wonder, should we try to tell Abel? 
It would be a pretty ra big risk, but we're gonna we're gonna try to tell them to go there. We're gonna have to tell them to run back after. But I think it should be fine. These guys are still barraging the people there. How are you doing? And bear is at golf six. Okay, somebody's already running. Uh, we need to tell you to start a barrage at uh, Bear in Gulf 6. But we've got Massini now, we gotta tell Abel to run back to Pacino location. <laughs> Fox 6 heading west, that's good. You, how is Baker? Yeah, the, the reports of us don't seem to work. We cancelled the barrage again, we're gonna fire a new barrage at the guys over there. Can report on his status. Alright, you, you gotta hurry towards Pacino before the enemy gets there. Are you in there? We did it. We've got every single location we needed. Perfect. Alright, at this one we're supposed to estimate how many enemy units there were. So they were four infantry we've, we've got bingo cheetah bear and alligator and none of the other ones so we're gonna send the report like that now yeah we got it right so we get a veterancy bonus had we got it wrong we're good we would get like a negative percentage bonus all right we finished all our objectives all right we can add a medal to courageous units and we also get level up, hopefully on both of these. Yeah, very nice. Not a lot of casualties on Baker. Only 26% on Abel, 39% on Baker. We're gonna give the medal to Baker. I think they deserve it a bit more. Bonus veterans, 180%, that's quite cool. All right. So we are done. major victory all right you could also play a replay let me actually uh, just like quickly show it off you can essentially just hit play it's gonna play at speed five and actually in the replay what you can do is you can see the actual stats of the units so of 100 health this is the defense you can have our defense of 50 and this is morale if morale gets to zero the unit kind of falls back pulls back and you have to kind of give it some time to sort of regroup before you can give it new orders because it's like panicked and running away so that's pretty cool but you can, i really like that you can kind of see the stats and here you can see the actual placement of the units and the figuring so sometimes it took us a while before we moved the the figurine as you can see here so then we thought they were a little bit elsewhere than they were actually were which i think is interesting so the replay is quite nice so that you can kind of measure how well you did and you know what kind of decisions you make how you helped out with defense and things like that with the entrenchment these sorts of things all right well i think it's a good time to end the episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did write down in the comments and if you got this far then you clearly like the video so don't forget to subscribe now you can click on the right to watch some war games like Panzer Corps 2 or unity of command 2 I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.